This is another edition of Welcome to Science with Mr. V in the lab, but we're on location today in my backyard. And we're gonna do a little remote learning to take care of doing this lab. So, we wanna know, what do organisms do with the food that they eat? And we're gonna study that with these little guys known as yeast. Caitlin, can you zoom in on that, please? Quick acting, bam, yeast, okay. So, yeast are a single-celled organism. And we know that that means that they need food to be able to produce energy. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna provide these yeast with different environments and we're gonna find out what do they do in each of those situations and will anything happen, okay? So there is a prediction box on your activity. I'd like you to make a prediction. What do you expect to see in each of the four test tubes? If you read the procedure, you'll see what each of them contains. Go ahead and fill in that pr prediction right now. Okay, so we are going to add each of our conditions to our four test tubes, okay? If you follow the procedure, it tells you what's exactly in each one. So in test tube number one, I'm only going to add water, okay? So I have my nice water of science here. I have my nice Erlenmeyer flask instead of a test tube. And I'm going to add in 100 milliliters of water. I'm doing a little more than it says in the book just so you can see it better, okay? Now, in test tube two, I'm going to add the same amount of water. But I'm also going to add in sugar. See if sugar does any sort of reaction when it's added. Okay, so I'm going to add in two packets of sugar here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and we are set. Okay, test tube three, I'm gonna add water and our favorite, the yeast. Yeasting up. So there's test tube three. And here comes the yeast for you. And I put those in and good. And then in the last one, I am going to add water. With yeast and sugar, all three conditions. So we want to know, will these yeasts that have all three conditions do anything with the sugar? And we will check back in 5, 15 minutes, and then tomorrow to see if we can get an answer. So there's the yeast. Mmm, smells like bread. There's the sugar. And they're in Erlenmeyer flask, so I can actually mix these up. And I'm gonna put a balloon over the top of them to trap any kind of gases that could be contained within these mixtures. All right. So, test tube. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, don't let me do that. Do not let me do that. Test tube four is capped. Over. Test tube three. Mixing it up. Doing a little something something here. And we are capped. This tube's two and one. I'm gonna go two for one here with these. Try and mix them up. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. And test tube two. <sighs> okay. And test tube one. Nothing to see here. Okay. And we will come back to check on these in five minutes. This is the observation you have for test tube number one. Remember, that's just water. Here is test tube number two, which contains water and sugar. This is test tube number three, which contains yeast and water. And then this is test tube number four that contains yeast, water, and the important element of sugar. We will come back in about 10 minutes to give us a final update. We are 15 minutes now, observations. 
Test tube one, test tube two. Test tube three. And test tube four. We'll check back tomorrow. And we're back here for our day two observations. And guess what? We got back in the lab. So uh, this may look a little different, but actually everything's identical. I'm gonna give you our final observations here for test tubes one through four and we can try to figure out what happened in each of them. Okay, here we go. Test tube one, still water, balloon not inflated. Here's test tube two, water, sugar kind of settled, balloon not inflated. Here's test tube three. We have a small amount of bubbles, the balloon is not inflated, and that's that. And here's test tube four. As you can see, there's a large amount of bubbles happening inside of this test tube. I wonder why. Also, look at this balloon. Ooh, it's inflated. That means there must be some type of gas in there. Thank you.